Good morning from Dole, Nepal. It is day four of our trip to Everest Base Camp. Today is going to be our shortest hike of the trek so far. We have three miles to hike and it should take us about three hours. Right now we're at 13,100 feet of elevation and today we'll be gaining about 1,400 feet of elevation and getting to 14,500 feet to the village of Machermo. Okay, so for the last four days, Dawa has been carrying our stuff. So like this, they wear it around their forehead. And then up? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is crazy heavy. I'm never complaining about carrying my pack again. Feels like my neck's gonna break. <laughs> Della, so much respect to you, man. They say the pack's around 50 pounds, but I'm not buying it. I think that's closer to 75 or 100 pounds. That's pretty heavy. And we're carrying that on flat ground. He's carrying that up steep mountains with high elevation. That's crazy. So easy for you guys. Yeah. You have strong because necks. Of, because of I'm a Chinese, sometimes butter and then sometimes guide. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is quite the meal right there, my friend. What do we got there? We've got a mixed omelet on Tibetan bread. Jeez. <laughs> it's so good. Tibetan bread is just a big fried piece of bread. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Mm. And I think mine is the same thing, but instead of the Tibetan bread, it's just the chabati bread, not fried. And of course, ginger lemon honey tea. Just finished up our delicious breakfast, and we're leaving the town of Dole. Going to start making our way up this mountain right here along that trail. There goes Dawa. Here's Dole. An incredible mountain view in the background. This trail with those mountains in the background is so epic. So this mountain right behind us is called Tom Sergut and it's 6,600 meters and it looks massive from where we are and Everest is still over 2,000 meters higher than that. Just hard to comprehend how big Everest actually is. We are not yet. We are the trekkers. We are the mountaineers. Mountaineers near us. <laughs> what a beautiful song. Starting song. So we just hit 14,000 feet in elevation. Here's a cool little guest house up here. Almost has a New Zealand feel to it with the green fields, all the rocks in the background. There's the trail we came along. We see quite a few helicopters going past us each day. A lot of them are carrying people and supplies to base camp, but the reality is, Quite a few of them are rescue helicopters too, which is a little unnerving to think about. We are coming up on the village of Lunja, just right behind me. All of these green fields are pastures for the yaks where they eat and how the local villagers keep them in. Yaks are the most important animal in Nepal. Dilok was telling us that they use the yaks not only to carry supplies from village to village, but also they use their milk for butter, cheese, they use their fur for clothing and instruments, and also eat the meat, yak steaks. They are super important to Nepali people. And I almost forgot, the yaks are one of the only animals in Nepal that can survive at this elevation. 
Donkeys can make it to about 12,000 feet, whereas the yaks can survive at much, much higher. All right, about two hours and 13 minutes later, we made it to Machermo, and right in time because it just started snowing for the first time on the trek. It's actually kind of fun to be in this snow. I expected more of this. I'm sure there will be plenty more higher up. On day one, we accidentally figured out the greatest trekking snack in the world. And we just ordered it, I'm gonna show you. So this is masala tea, it's like a cinnamony tea. And you dip the Oreo into the masala tea, it softens it up immediately, and adds a level of flavor that is just absolutely delicious. Die right now, be happy. <laughs> so good. Nothing better. Trust me on this one. So good. I have to say a huge thank you to D Lock because he's been carrying up these Oreos and fruit for us every single day. Thank you. <laughs> really branching out here with some dog bot. <laughs> we just finished up our lunch and this snow is picking up. Whew. Gonna head to the room. Alright, home sweet home. Got two twin size beds with blankets on them, a pillow, a little hanging rack, and the view out our window. Still snowing. So today is more of an acclimation day for us. We could have kept going another three hours to the next village of Gokio, but d -Lock, our guide, said that sometimes if you go too far in one day, you can get altitude sickness, and it started snowing, so we figured the smart thing to do was just stay here tonight at 14,500 feet, and then in the morning, we'll head to Gokyo, which is above 15,000 feet. Here's our bathrooms. The toilets here don't flush. Let's so get some water. And dump it down. And wash your hands with this bucket. d -Lock only gave us one instruction for this afternoon and it was not to take a nap. You look very sleepy over there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to so bad. Did he say it messes with... Gives you a headache. Gives you a headache. I'll take the headache if I can nap, please. <laughs> We're gonna do our best not to fall asleep. But we have five hours till dinner. <sighs> this is definitely the coldest we've been so far on the trek. I've been bundled up in this blanket and all my jackets for the last couple of hours. We're gonna have a nice hot dinner and then hit the sack early. We're gonna have a Big day of hiking tomorrow in the snow. At least someone's enjoying the snow. It's been snowing nonstop for the last three hours now. So I'm glad we didn't trek up to Gokyo today. I think this was a good idea. Since we're above the tree line here at 14,500 feet, it's too hard to get firewood up here. So instead, 
to keep everything warm, they burn yak dung. 